Well, I felt I first felt different. Um, I think when I was maybe five or six, um, when you're really like starting to understand that there's a difference between girls and boys, and that you're not the same. And I did tell my parent, a parent, and it was met with a lot of um, anger and negativity. Um, so I forgot about it and just let it alone. I just wanted to be a girl, and how I behaved was frowned upon um, at home and outside home. So very early on, um, I was confused. Hey, Graham! Hi, lad. How many other people in the world have green hair? You have what, lad? Green hair. In high school, I um, identified uh, as gay. Um, I never really wanted to use the word lesbian because I knew that I didn't identify fully as a girl, uh, so that didn't feel appropriate. People that don't understand, they will just say, oh, you're just a lesbian that's dressing up like a guy. I know I'm not dressing up. It's not what's on the outside. It's on the inside that I feel male. People at school were like, oh, your voice is like the voice as a girl, no, no, no. They thought that they were mean to me, but I loved it, to hear it, <laughs> because I knew I was going to be a woman anyways. I would say, oh, I'm not a ma'am. I'm actually a guy. And I had people actually come back to me, which seems really crazy, come back to me and say, no, you're a lady, or like, you're a dickless lady, and scream at me in the middle of the street. Everybody thought it was a phase, but I just knew that I felt different on the inside. down to your hair, lad. It turned green. All by itself. All by itself. We all Googled, I guess, <laughs> so we learned a few stuff. It was like a conversation I didn't really want to have, and she, um, she, yeah, she, like, she knew. When she came out to me, uh, it made a lot more sense. We were always very open, and David has always been someone that I could express myself to freely and not feel judged. I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be able to transition. I wouldn't, uh, when I don't have support, you know, I don't have friends and things like that. When I was going through things, the only person I could talk to or the only thing I could talk to was God. So I have to pray. That's all, that's all I had. You lose a lot of um, friends and family. It's a given. So I was prepared for it. But yeah, my father was like, initially it's like change your last name. Um, you're not my daughter, and that was pretty, it was hard to hear from my dad, who I really love a lot. I really didn't think about it. I just said, if that's what you want, that's perfectly all right with me. At first, they were, like, um, scared because they wanted to protect me because we were living in the small village, as we said. And then I have a smaller sister, um, and they wanted to protect as well. They've been very, uh, not only supportive, but very interested. Wanting to understand, well, what does that mean? Whatever we can do to help, we do. At the end of the day, my parents, when they accepted it and we talked about it, they actually did like a kind of a reception, invite all the family to come, and then introduce myself. So you have to know that it's gonna be Ines now. If she comes to me and says uh, there's something I want to discuss with her, I absolutely discuss it with her. I tell her like my personal life, 
dating, I, you know, tell her everything. Some of my other friends were a little apprehensive because they didn't understand, but over time, they, they started to see the kind of woman that I was becoming. I mean, the woman that I always was, but physically becoming. Football, electric trains, you know, I was so excited to have a, a son. It certainly um, was fine, you know, it was uh, somewhat adjusting, but it was fine because I love him and her very much. Loved him then, <laughs> love her now. I basically demanded my family to accept me, but they also did accept me, you know? So you could demand something and not receive it, but I, they did accept me. My father, my mother, my sisters. This exchange for me was, um, was just normal, and then she became, like I, I always call her, she's a miracle to me. It is the boy with the green hair. We were waiting for you. You mean I was supposed to come? We were hoping you would. What for? Your green hair is very beautiful. Beautiful? Yes. Green is the color of spring. It means hope. This is what, it's not, it's something that I had to be. It's something that I had to be. The thing for me that's important now is that emotionally I know where I am and where I want to be. When I left the hospital, I was in Thailand and I was by myself and um, they, released me the sixth day, and I remember I walked out of hospital and I had a very, very, <laughs> very cute outfit on, and I just felt really free and, um, and happy, even though obviously I was in some sort of physical pain. I'm so much more comfortable with myself now, and I'm so much happier. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I'm okay. At the end of the day, you cannot lie to yourself. You are who you are. I want to be loved for the way I am. I want the boy, my next boyfriend, to know and to love me. And I can even, like, I, I, I even, I want to talk about it. Everybody as human beings, we all have tough experiences, maybe some harder than others. So um, you sort of cannot, it will, you'll victimize yourself if you hold on to your past. What I have is right now, and what I do right now creates my future. The kids have always been fabulous. The thing, that, the thing that's different here is the fact that they're being recognized. I just want to say that I think uh, the environment and the feeling that was made here is really beautiful. Um, seeing everybody throughout the whole process and especially this morning um, being so comfortable um, shooting how we were, I think um, trans people historically live in um, feelings of shame and hatred of our body and seeing everybody so happy and comfortable um, I think was really powerful and it was a really beautiful thing. So thank you. Bravo. It's nice to have known you. When my hair grows back, it's going to grow back green. Chip, chip, my little horse. Chip, chip again, sir. How many miles to Dublin town? Four score and ten, sir. Chip, chip, my, my little, little horse. Chip, chip again, again, sir. Can I get there by candlelight? He can and back again, sir. Oh, chip, chip, my little, little horse. horse. Chip, chip again, sir. How many miles to Dublin town? Four score and ten, sir. Chip, chip, my little horse. Chip, chip again, sir. Can I get there by candlelight? He can and back again, sir. Chip, chip.